we know that lung cancer is the leading cancer killer in the United States. It kills more people than the next three cancers combined. There has been no screening test for lung cancer ever. We've tried chest x-rays and that didn't work. And then many years ago we tried chest CT scans, but it was only last year that we really learned that it works. There was a big government-sponsored trial. It was funded by the National Institutes of Health. cost $400 million. They enrolled 50,000 patients who were split between x-rays and CAT scans. They set a threshold at 20% improvement. They met that 20% improvement and had to stop the trial early because the results were so good it was unethical to continue doing simply chest x-rays. There's the cancer right there. The rest of the lung looks fine. There was also some recent work done from the insurance perspective, mm -hmm. looking at the costs of these studies. And, and that data is also very compelling. It tells us that not only is it save lives, but it's actually as effective, if not more effective, than other screening tools we use, such as mammography, colonoscopy. It's actually more cost effective to do lung cancer screening than it is to do screening for any other cancer. If an individual has the risk factor, and that is cigarette smoking, 30 pack year history, which means one pack per day for 30 years or two packs per day for 15 years, and they've quit within the last 15 years, the recommendation is they should get a CAT scan once a year. This is a uh, CAT scan. It's about the same amount of radiation as a mammogram. And that simple test has shown an improvement in detection of lung cancer that translates into improvements in survival of 20%. That's an enormous number. That's the biggest improvement in cancer survival in any disease for years and years and years.